Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at an app which is called Four Digit Partition Manager, which does a lot of stuff, but we are going to focus on migrating our operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, or any other Windows version from a slow hard drive to a faster SSD or from a smaller SSD to a larger SSD. I'm going to use this laptop, which has a 512 gigs of SSD, NVMe, and we are going to clone it or migrate to this Sabrent 2 terabytes NVMe. I will leave links down below for everything that I will use on this video. And that being said, let's go straight for it. So here we are on the desktop with four digit partition manager. I've got my internal SSD, which is 512 gigabytes, and we are going to transfer our operating system to a two terabytes SSD. Now there are some laptops like the N1, which is another laptop that I use regular right over here, that has two NVMe slots. So we can just put in one SSD, one SSD or NVMe. We can clone them internally and then just remove the one that we don't want. In this case, I only have one slot for our SSD or NVMe. So we will need to use an external enclosure so that we can put in our SSD and do the cloning process. And then once we finish up, we will remove the SSD from here. We will put it on the laptop and that is it. Now, before we move on, just taking a quick look right over here. If we want, we can change the language, which is really easy. I just finished recording my Portuguese video. So I did use my Portuguese language, but at this moment, let's use English because it will be easier for you and probably easier for me as well. Now, there are a few things that we can do. Clone our disk or clone partition, migrate operating system, which is what we are going to do. You can also use the partition manager. It has a lot of information like the disk status and so on and so forth, which we are not going to cover today. And we can also convert MBR to GPT and GPT to MBR. This is really useful if we have a new computer and we want to migrate to an older computer by any reason then this is useful or vice versa which is more useful if i have an older computer i just purchased a new one and i want to put everything as i want and i need to put in from mbr to gpt this is the tool to use and there's also the partition recovery with a lot of options now focusing on the migrate os by the way this is a tool which if we go to the website, you can download it for free and try it for yourself, but this is not free. I did receive a key so that I could test out and see for myself and then share with the community. So there's the disclosure. And if I go right over here to buy, you will see that there is a month license, one year license and a lifetime license. So you will decide then if you want to use this software, which is not free, but in terms of the experience before we start, it is really easy to use. So if you have a lot of headaches and you are tired of looking for solutions and you haven't found one, then this might be a good solution at a low cost. Now, what we need to do in this particular case, I just need to put in my SSD on this enclosure, as I said, connect to my laptop. It will recognize. And then right over here where it says migrate OS, I just need to press start. And once I press start, it will ask me if I want to delete what is on the SSD. I will say yes. And that is it. Once the process starts, it will take about 20 minutes. I would say I'm not really sure because I did start and I went to do some other tasks. And then when I got back, it was finished. So I would say a maximum of 30 minutes, but this will depend on the SSD that we are using using and on the SSD that we have. So the speeds will vary depending on the system that we have and on the SSD that we have. Once the process was finished, which was really quick, I just need to shut down this computer. I had to open up the back lid or the bottom lid, and then I did replace the SSD and the time came to test it out. I did open it up, I did turn it on and Jenna, it did work great first time without any Hiccups, I had everything that I did configure on my original SSD. Now, when I do this kind of tests, when I'm testing out this kind of software to be easier to that side of the screen, and even for me, I usually change my desktop to be in a 
different color than the original windows and that's what i did i left the four digit partition manager here on the desktop so it was easy to recognize and it worked great it did recognize the two terabytes the full two terabytes of the new ssd and the process was easy as this and basically this is how we can use the four digit partition manager if we want to migrate from one computer to the other one now if you ask me hey robert but did you put in the original back again yes i did i just test out this software but i'm still testing this laptop which is the shui so there are a lot more tests that i want to do and i will do those tests as it comes from factory that's the only reason and that is it hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit better about the four digit partition manager solution especially on migrating operating system from one ssd to another larger ssd and if it was helpful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one